UFO, tell your um, tell your fans where you headed. To the Biltmore Estate. She's headed to the to the Biltmore <laughs> Estate. talking about my experience on my honeymoon whirlwind trip three trips in one so guys I already told you that we went to Greenville now I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the things I did on my trip and what it was about and why we went so I've always loved um, different European type um, shows and different you know old time, old feel uh, stories and houses and architecture and different things like that. So my husband, now husband, um, planned this trip that was super amazing. So let me get in and let me dive into the Biltmore. <laughs> So just to give you a little bit of background about the Biltmore, it was built by George Vanderbilt and he actually um, was trying to find a place for his mom because she was very sickly and he wanted a place. He had heard that the air in certain places made you feel better. So he found Asheville, fell in love with Asheville and found all this property and land to buy and built a home for his mom. Um, he, it did take them about six years to build and come to find out his mom only lived in the house for one year, but that is so freaking amazing that you took that much care of your mom to want to build her something and want to have something that can go on for your family for years and years. So again, while I am obsessed with the Biltmore, <laughs> I just totally love it. We did these tours. We did the back stairs tour. We did the rooftop tour. The rooftop tour more talked about the architectural um, aspect of the Biltmore and about the gargoyles and the other 
pieces. They're gargoyles and they're something else's. And I can't think of the name of them. I think they were Guinnesses or something like that. Something crazy. But they did have crazy looks. And the um, the cherubs, the angels, all that good stuff. They talked about all of that stuff. So if you look at each piece, it's very significant. I mean, they're carved right there into the building. Everything is just uh, totally amazing. The people that did the work on this house, they just over overdid and they went above and beyond so um we got to see what happened on the the rooftop we got to see where the servants entered we got to see where the servants slept we got to see the indoor gym we got to see every aspect of this house we got to see and i loved it i had an, an amazing time and i think the people were probably looking at me crazy because I think my mouth was open the whole time. Everybody was talking. That's what I was doing. <laughs> so, because I was so excited. So much information. So much. They, they show you how they wash the sheets and the different things that they washed. Um, like every piece of clothing didn't get washed. Certain things got washed. And, you know, it's just so interesting that George Vind Vanderbilt was into sustainable living in you know, back in that day, you, you're just thinking they did live off the land, but he was into that then. He wanted the place to be where they could just live off of what they were doing. So anyway, um, we did our tours. Um, after our one of our tours, we went and got ice cream. We sat and we just sat in the courtyard and just you know, enjoy the scenery and it was a little hot, but not as hot as South Carolina. Thank you and welcome home to us. <laughs> South Carolina just smacked us. Boom. But it was hot, but we did have some of their ice cream. The ice cream is made there. Um, tastes amazing. I mean, you know, I, a lot of things I, I just rave on and rave on, but this is made there and it tastes great so i mean if you ever go to the biltmore you've got to try the ice cream i did not try anything else that's all i wanted jonathan had a milkshake and it looked yummy yum to the e it did look that i tried to keep my lips off it because i didn't want him to get mad at me so um i just ate my ice cream which was good and when i say it was good i was scraping the cup good okay all right <laughs> So we did have some food there. Um, you know, I just, if you ever want to go somewhere and be in like a TV setting or a movie setting, go visit the Van, uh, the Vanderbilt home, which is the Biltmore. Um, so during our stay, we did stay at the Biltmore in the Biltmore Estates Inn. So we stayed on property. <laughs> Because I got to feel just, I don't know, I, it was just a different feeling. I mean, I, I definitely was glad we got to stay. There were so many things that you could do on property. Um, they had kayaking, they had horseback riding, they had bike riding. Um, people were doing almost everything you can think of be, between eating, between um, there's Biltmore Inn Estates and then um, at the inn and then you have the hotel uh, so there was so much stuff and so many people they have the sunflowers that people were taking pictures with and um, they have a little farm area where kids were and looking at the animals and taking pictures they have the village they have the winery just so much stuff the winery is so gorgeous you walk into these amazing lights and you're just walking down this hall with all these lights and all these pictures and all these wine bar barrels. It's just so amazing. It, it's very romantic. I mean, if you're looking for something to do in a romantic setting, this would be it. I mean, take a stroll at night in the winery with all the lights and all that scenery. It's just picturesque. So um, we did go off property and do a couple of different things. We went to Chimney Park, um, and that again gives you a whole view of Asheville and a different type of feeling. I mean, 
certain things you say you don't think you'd want to do, but then you get into doing them once you're in the moment. It's just like, you know, this is amazing and this is something everyone should see. So we, we climbed up to the top. Um, we went down to the bottom where they had this little cave and Jonathan was acting crazy and, you know, people were talking and conversing. So they had different ways you could go through Chimney Park. Um, I bought a t-shirt because I had wore a shirt that was not for, for uh, climbing <laughs> at all. So I bought a, a shirt. So they have a little area where you can buy souvenirs and t-shirts and mugs and different things like that. Um, it was a lot of steps. I mean, it was so nice and so refreshing. I actually did not um, mind at all. One, because I need to exercise. But two, because it was just nice. It was relaxing. And I didn't think about a bug. I didn't think about an animal. I saw a baby snake and I did not freak out. Kudos to me, because I could have been in the car. <laughs> I would have been in the car. You guys are not gonna believe it. But I don't know who knows and who's watching this channel, but I got to see my favorite place, which was, well, it's not my favorite place anymore, but it was my favorite place. Uh, it was called Long John Silver. Now, I don't know who on this channel is gonna watch this, but if you ever went to Long John Silver, y'all know those little crinkly things they put in the fish? Bomb.com. That's all I gotta say. So, we did a lot of adventurous things. We had a great time. Biltmore was way beyond my expectations. And would I go again? Most definitely. Biltmore has an annual pass, so if anybody is interested, please do visit their website. And is this a plug for the Biltmore? Heck yeah, because that is my place. Now, I do want to go see where... Um, my show is actually filmed, but that's in England. So, um, you know, maybe one day when Corona is not around, we will uh, head over there and see. Um, I think it's High Clear Castle. I really do want to see that. So that that would be another thing on my bucket list. But this was on my list to do, and Jonathan Young made that happen for me. And I am super excited. I have so many pictures, so much video. Um, I won't forget this trip. Well, guys, I am going to get to the video. So if you are interested in the bit more, you can visit their sites, uh, their their website, and um, sign up for their newsletter as well. So I'm gonna bring you guys along to my part two, Biltmore Estates. All right, guys, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification button. Hey guys, I am here at Biltmore Inn and I wanted to bring you on to show you our room. Come on. So guys, when you first enter, they have the Biltmore Reserve wine just sitting here waiting on you to try. This is excellent. And, come on in and see the room. This is gorgeous. Just very elegant, total Vanderbilt um, style with the uh, feel of the room and all the furniture and the design. And as you see, they got their logo, their crest on the pillow, and pretty much probably everywhere in this room, I'm pretty sure. So this is uh, probably where I'll be sleeping. And we have a TV here. Just pick the work. Um, the wallpaper. Hmm. The wallpaper has something to do with the Vanderbilt um, logo or their crest or something like that. I, I can't remember. I heard something about it in a tour, but very elegant. We have the little desk here. Probably can eat and do work if you need to. And a nice chair and sitting area. And then I'll show you the bathroom later. But guys, look at this view out here. So this is our last day at the Biltmore and then we are on route to the Omni. But we are just passing through the Biltmore one last time, being nostalgic, trying to 
you know, just reminisce on our time. Right, Jay? Right, just one more game, just soak it all in. Soak it all in. So I'm gonna show you guys this view one more time. Bye, Biltmore. See you next year. What? <laughs> we get an annual pass, guys. So, again, guys, keep following us on our journey. We are headed to the Omni Grove Park in Michelle Obama's pictures on the wall. You guys can't believe it. It's so amazing. Follow us, guys. See you soon. I've wanted to go to the Biltmore forever. Forever, forever, ever. Forever, ever. She wanted to go to the Biltmore. Stay. Everybody. <laughs>